the channel, it's Tom over at GAS and today we'll be doing a video on the MOT annual assessment which is not very exciting but it's something we have to do as a tester in the UK so I think this is coming about well about four or five years ago now uh, whereas before if you was a tester you'd go on a refresher course every five years which I think was a day or two days, I can't remember now but now they've they changed that um, it's not Bayesian anymore, it's DVSA and now you have to basically record three hours worth of training a year and then every year you have to take an assessment and if you fail I think you get two or three attempts and uh, yeah if you don't pass they come out and they have to reassess you basically um, it gets tougher every year I mean the the pass rate this year is 80%, 30 questions, and you get one hour to do them in. So you can either keep a record of your own training, uh, which you have to keep for five years. Uh, what, what we do is do it through the IMI. You'll sit down, uh, you do your three hours training, it's all logged on their website, and then you'll do your assessment at the end and every time you log into the IMI it's all on there so if you do get spot visit and you haven't got it to hand you can just log on um, and everything's kept on fire basically so just in regards to the annual assessment or the five year uh, refresher course which do you prefer personally I think there's advantages to both um, obviously yearly keeping you a bit more up to date which is handy I mean you do pick up some some bits on there that you think or makes you think there is some items on there that you perhaps wouldn't have come across before which is useful um, the thing I'd like with a refresher course I only went on one of them I've been testing for just over 12 years so I did one after five years. I did like it, they're using a room with testers, um, sharing your views, it's a bit more hands-on and you could have a discussion. I mean, if you're a tester in a test station, it's just one of you or two of you. Sometimes it's nice to have that different opinions from other testers and... So yeah, I mean, what, what do you prefer anyway? Let us know. So price wise, probably not the cheapest. If you're a member, it's £48 plus the VAT or £60 plus the VAT if you're not a member. As we log on every year through the IMI, that gives us a year's um, membership or it used to. I don't know if it still does after this one, we'll find out. So we paid £48 plus the VAT. Yeah, basically it's just that time of year where we're off in between Christmas, New Year, so we'll we'll sit down and we'll get that done ready for next year. So if we have a look at the training for this year. We've got questions relating to the lighting systems, electric hybrid, um, health and safety when dealing with alternative fuel vehicles. Fly-by-wire steering systems, carbon fibre components. Uh, let's have a look. Training logs, uh, recording vehicle details, PRSs, emissions. We got some questions on the prescribed areas. Uh, repairs, brake pipes. It looks like there's some on the tyres, headlight aims. Yeah, basically just your everyday kind of MOT stuff. I know in the past we've had a lot of questions to do with like the point systems, if you get points, um, if you miss something on a test. Um, something you don't really tend to remember or look up unless it comes to it. Uh, so with the training it's Sometimes it's handy, I mean, it gives you a bit of a, more of an insight of stuff you probably wouldn't ever look up. But everything's 
on in the MOT manual or the testing manual anyway. So, I mean, obviously, uh, every day questions relating to testing should hopefully know off the top of your head. But I mean, if you do, if you're not well, if you're unsure of something through test, you've always got that option to look on the tester's manual and just have a look really. Yeah, like like I say, if you're unsure on anything, everything's on the manual and um, read the description. If it's a failure or a passing advice, different testers will have slightly different views on condition of a brake pipe, for instance, but hopefully everyone, you know, is on the same page anyway. We'll get through this training and then we'll have a look at the assessment at the end. So I've, done, I've carried out the training, that's all done. Uh, I've done my three hours for this year through the IMI. So we'll go on to the annual assessment now and we'll see how we get on. So we just finished the assessment and we've got 29 out of 30. So we've passed with 97%. One question wrong. It's a bit annoying. I thought it was a bit of a trick question really, but but I'm happy with that. It's a pass rate anyway. That will do us for another year. So just looking at some of the questions we got asked. Someone light, steering, suspension, standard testing, standard testing items, a couple on high voltage vehicles, nothing too complicated there. Uh, there's a lot of questions on body structure, prescribed areas, uh, repairs to the prescribed areas. So that's one to bear in mind. A couple on road wheels, brakes. I mean, everyone's going to get different questions anyway, but they tend to stick to the same kind of groups in the year. So yeah, fuel and emissions, standard. Um, but I mean, everything is in the manual. So if you get stuck, go onto the manual, look it up. I mean, you, you've got an hour, soon, soon goes though. But that's that's the uh, training and the assessment done this year. What do you lot do? Do you do the training at the same time as the assessment or do you have training days throughout the year? See, I just do it for the IMI because I don't get time in the year and it just flies by and before you know it, Trainings required. Well, you, the assessments do. Um, obviously, if you don't do it by March, I think you you can't test. So I try to do it around Christmas time, and then it's just done. Then I mean, if you get stuck when I'm testing a vehicle, I'll I'll have a look at look it up anyway. So, but as for the training, I don't get chance to actually sit down and record it. So time off over Christmas it's a good time to sit down and just do it all together really four hours not the end of the world but let us know how you all do if you test us let me know what you think of the questions uh, what do you think of the pass rate I think it's gone up since last year I think it was 70% it's now 80% do you think it's too high or is it is that enough? I know working with a few of the older testers, not so used to computers, time seems to run down quick. If they need to look something up, they're not probably not as quick as the young young ones and people good with computers. And that's it for this video. Not that interesting uh, with being off in between Christmas and New Year. We've gone in and done a couple of jobs, but we've actually officially been closed. So not too much to show in the workshop, but we'll be back in the new year and we'll be doing some more videos for you all. 
So don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and we wish you a happy new year, and we look forward to what this year brings.